Hi, first grade. I'm super excited about our assignment today. We are going to design ugly Christmas sweaters to practice our copy and paste skills with the keyboard. So when we're doing copy and paste, control C is our copy and control V is our paste. And we'll be able to do that between the slides to make some really cool ugly sweater glyphs. A glyph is where your design describes something about yourself. So these should be really awesome and I can't wait to see them. Step A, I'm going to model opening your assignment. You're going to scroll down to find the blue open to attach and submit. And then you want to click the file, the template that I've given you. It says your name and it says ugly sweater. Please pause this video and complete those steps now. Step B. Let's practice learning how to copy and paste. I mentioned at the beginning that control C is your shortcut for copy. So you'll hold the control key down while you press the letter C. C for copy. To paste, you hold the control key down and press the letter V. Now I know you might be thinking, well, paste starts with a P. Control P is actually the shortcut for print. But you can remember that the C and the V are next to each other, so that might help. So even though there are different ways to copy and paste, today we will be using the keyboard shortcuts. So we'll need the control key with C for copy and the control key with V for paste. I would like you to click on the blue square, press control C, and then press control V. Did it make a new shape for you? Press Control V two more times. One, two. Now I have multiple shapes. Please pause this video and practice that now. Now let's start making our ugly sweater. I'm going to model for you now how to get the sweater into your work box. Slide two, where it has the directions for you for the steps to build, and also a reminder of how to do the copy paste and how to resize clip art, which is a skill that you learned as kindergartners. Remember to resize with a corner so that you don't distort your image. Slide three is your workspace slide. You will be designing the sweater inside of this box. Your sweaters are located on slide four. So you get to choose any sweater base that you want. So find one you like and click on it. To copy it, control C. And we don't want to paste it on this slide. We want to paste it in the box on slide three. So we're going to go back to slide three and we're going to press control V. It has pasted my sweater. Remember I said it needs to be in this box. So I'm going to click on the sweater and drag it to move it. We practiced those dragging skills last week and I'm using a corner to resize it so that it fills my box nicely. There's one more thing I would like you to do on the sweater. I would like you to paint it your favorite color. So if you look in your toolbar up here, you will see a paint bucket. If you are not clicked on the sweater, you will not have access to the paint bucket. So make sure you're clicked on the sweater. The paint right now is white. I'm going to click on the paint bucket and I'm going to pick my favorite color and you will pick your favorite color. My favorite color is teal, so that's probably the closest to it. Um, you are allowed to make your own colors if you would like as well. So you can add a custom color. You can do gradients if you want to have some fun in there. So that's completely up to you how you want to do that. Please pause the video to copy paste your sweater from slide four onto slide three and to paint it your favorite color. Now we're going to add a pattern to our sweater. A glyph gives answers to questions based on pictures. So for this, you're going to scroll down to slide five, which is our pattern slide. You have two boxes of patterns. If you like to wear sweaters, you will choose patterns from this side, the fat stripes. If you do not like to wear sweaters, you will choose patterns from this side, the skinny stripes. I do not like to wear sweaters, so I will be choosing from the one on the right. You can pick any color you want. You can do multiple colors. It's completely up to you. So I think I'm going to start with a yellow. I'm going to click on my yellow, control C to copy, 
And then I'm going to go back to my sweater on slide three, control V to paste. I can move it with my four arrows, and they are automatically sized to fit across the sweater. Now let's say that I want more of those to make a full pattern. I have already copied it. I don't need to copy again. I'm just going to paste it. Um, let's say I want five stripes total, so I would need to paste four more times. So control V, 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 V. There, I've got four stripes, and I can drag them onto my sweater. You can choose how many stripes you want. It's completely up to you. Please pause the video now and work on your stripes. Remember, choose the fat stripes if you like to wear sweaters and the skinny stripes if you do not like to wear sweaters. Let's add a second pattern to our sweater to tell more about ourselves. It's on slide six. So go to slide six. And for this part of the glyph, you will choose from this side if you do not like to wrap gifts. And you will choose from this side if you do like to wrap gifts. For me, this is a hard one because I do like wrapping gifts occasionally, but I don't like wrapping a whole bunch of gifts, which is what I usually have to do. So I think I'll go with I don't like to wrap gifts. Um, I'm going to pick the white one this time. I'm going to click on it. And I do my copy with control C. Come back to my sweater, control V. A nice place to put these is on the sleeves. But you can really put them anywhere you want. I'm going to do three more. So I'm going to press the control V three more times. Um, mine look a little big, so I'm going to resize them. I'm not worried if they go off the sweater a little bit. That's completely up to you. But if I use my corner, I can shrink that down a little bit. In fact, rather than shrinking all of them, I'm going to press backspace on this one, backspace on this one, and backspace on this one. I'm going to get this one the size I want. I'm going to copy it again. And now when I paste it, it pastes that new small size. Again, that's just something extra you can do if um, you're up for the challenge, but as first graders, I don't expect you to have to be able to do that. The main skill we're working on is copy paste. All right, that looks good. I would like you to pause the video and complete your pattern two part. Now we're going to add a shape to our sweater to tell which class we're in. Scroll down to slide seven. And this time you'll pick a shape based on whose class you are in. If your homeroom teacher is Mrs. Gassmeyer or Mrs. Yim, you get to pick one of these six shapes. If your homeroom teacher is Mrs. Pitzer or Mrs. Gross, you get to pick one of these six shapes. And if your homeroom teacher is Ms. Ricker or Ms. Dunn, you will pick one of these six shapes. So obviously I don't have a homeroom teacher, I am a teacher, but we'll pretend I'm in Mrs. Yim's class. So that means I would have to pick from these six shapes. I think I like this one. I'm going to control C to copy it, go back to my sweater on slide three, and control V to paste. The style with ugly sweaters right now seems to be a large image in the center of the sweater. Oh, I'm a little bit too big there. I went off my side of my sweater. That's better. I can use my arrow keys to nudge it a little bit, just like we learned with our drag and drop pixel art. All right, so now I am finished with my ugly sweater. Please pause and finish your sweater, and then come back to learn how to turn in your work. Finally, it's time to turn in your work. This is the part where you're going to send your work to me so that I can see your awesome sweater. You are all done working on your assignment and it has automatically saved. You can see the check mark in the cloud. So you may close out of this tab. That brings you right back into Canvas where you will see the blue submit button. Now let's pretend for a second that you had accidentally closed out of that tab too. No big deal. You can reopen it with the blue button and then you'll see your blue submit button. Once you press it, it will ask if you're sure you want to submit. Yes, you are, so you will press submit here. It takes a moment. And once you see that green check mark, you know that you have submitted your work and you are done with technology. I will see you guys in January.